Hey guys, Mike Martin here, Magic Pace Plugin. Right, um, pretty much ready to release the Schema Builder. I just wanted to show you a really, really, really cool feature. So I'm on a website here. It's just a demo template page, as you can see. Um, let's click on the review, diagnose, scroll down, have a look. No Schema at all, yeah? Now, we've all seen on my previous sites where I've shown you how you can import schema from different places as you can see i've been playing around with this uh wrong site um this is a site we've previously used where we've copied and imported the schema okay let me just show you something really 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 cool right so this is the back end of the thing you go down to your schema builder here and you click advanced schema builder okay open schema builder as you can see it's completely blank okay so i'll click on templates not got any templates in there Right, so you can import and export your own templates, you can save your current schema, you can import, export, all that stuff. Schema catalog, if you want to share a schema, you submit it to the catalog and everybody will be able to use it. Okay, here's the cool bit. Let me click import. Import schema, that's where you can export as well. As you can see, there's one from today. Double click it. Boom. Right, now watch this. Import import schema all right check this out look you've got all your stuff there you get your location where it needs to be location you get your site url locksmith the full address look at that you get your top location and then you got all your surrounding cities 15 uh, areas served every single page works dynamically you've got all of the vehicle makes and models geolocation data with the longitude and latitude wherever you want an image you just put your seo image url Okay, scroll down here, you've got all your keywords. Look, some of them have got the locations in them specifically, some haven't, just to keep it a little bit more random. We've got a phone number, site URL down here. As you can see, that is what we've just imported. So now I just click Save Schema, click Close, click Update. So you can use that on almost, in fact, you can use it on any website. You don't need to do a different schema for every single site. You create one really cool schema and you use the short code. So as you can see now, if we click into it, you use the short codes, there's your URL and silly little things. And if I show you where there's something that's user specific, sorry, I'm getting text while I'm talking, I've just put info at gmail.com for the email. That's the only part of the site. And obviously, if you're creating your own short codes, you change your phone number. So you change your phone number and this. And then let me go and view the page. Click on that. Diagnose. Scroll down. As you can see, it's turning into one of the little microphone -y things. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely awesome schema. London leading auto locksmith and khaki repair. There's that's your description. Image leak. It's got absolute look at that. That's your areas served. All these areas served. Now if we go back to the same site that we've just been on. Right, let's just show you some <clears throat> Excuse me. There you go, London. And then it's Dartford, Watford, Harrow, Harlow. So let's go and click on one of the city short codes over here. Basildon. And then let's view the schema on this one and you'll see what I mean about dynamic areas served. Every single page with your schema on has different dynamic areas served for every single page. So let me just scoot down and show you. So look, you get your locksmith again, then you get your areas served. Basildon, Rayleigh, South End on the Sea, Chelmsford, Dartford. Uh, this is just a small site. I've created about 50 pages, but you can see London's all the way down here. Maidstone, Harlow. This is a major city site. And if we scroll down, you can see everything's relating to Basildon now on the previous page. Everything would have been relating to London, as you can see. London, 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 no errors, no problems, no nothing. Now, I can pretty much accept... <laughs> this is human error. Look at that. I've spelt country. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that needs changing. Jesus, what a knob. Um, and anyway, as you can see... Um, but I've spelt country wrong. That'll be the same on this one as well. It can't pull it in if you've not put the short code incorrect. Where's the address? There you go. Basildon country with... <laughs> uh, typical. But as you can see, you've got your geolocation data. So you get your longitude, your latitude. You've got your maps URL somewhere here. That's not your maps URL. But you have got a has map in there somewhere with a map on it. And every single one is specific to the specific page. And all we've done is uh, there's the has map there. You can go google.com forward slash maps forward slash search. Auto locksmith Basildon. So if we grab that now, right click. Copy. Open a tab. Paste it in. I'm assuming that's going to show us all the auto locksmiths in Basildon. 
hasn't worked. How embarrassing. But it has there, it's just not... Oh, it has. It has, it has. Ignore me. See? <laughs> For some reason, it's not zoomed in. Ah, that's because it's just a daft little URL. So it's not zoomed in, but the information is correct. So if we zoom in... Now, we could have set the map up to do that, but... It's my map code that I put in. But as you can see, it shows up all the... Um, all the south and all the people in Basildon. Sorry guys, just a really quick video. Just couldn't wait to show people this. I think it's absolutely awesome. It means you're going to be able to create one schema for all of your same industry sites and then literally just pop it in, bam, done. You've got dynamic schema throughout every single site. So you get one perfect schema, one site, import, export, stick it in every site you've got and you're done. You can also export it and then copy and paste the code straight into your thing here. Or if you don't want to do it that way, if you just want to use the codes if you want to go into here import some schema create the type of schema that you want then when you open your schema builder you've got a visualizer there so you can have a look at it and see how it's structured and how it's put together so all your brands will pop up here so you can see all the names and makes of all the brands areas served that should show us the 15 closest to the one that we're currently on maybe it shouldn't i don't know oh that's because i'm looking at the one in the back end of the thing not the one in the specific site itself so that code there pulls in the 15 this code pulls in the location, you come put your address with your county spelt wrong. Um, but as you can see guys, this is, is going to just make it so, so easy for anybody to do one schema, one industry, boom, you're done. You create it, export, import, done. Um, and the thing I was talking about just a minute ago was the preview. That was the one I wanted to show you. Boom, as you see, you can get all the code there as well. So you get a full code. So if you don't know import and export and all that, but realistically, you don't need to do that. You literally, now you can go to templates, click on your schema, and then click import, export, export schema. See that drop down there? Boom, done, schema's exported. Wanted to import the schema, click on the same button. Click on that, and it's going to import the schema. It's already called Auto Locksmith, so it'll just overwrite the one that's already there because it's the same name. So if you do a better version, boom, you're done. Okay, guys, hope you love it. Um, 24, 48 hours, I would expect to have this. If I can get this done by tomorrow morning, I'm going to share it on the group with everybody, and then I'm going to try and do a webinar tomorrow night so I can go through and play with it, and we can all have a chat about it and ideas and show people how to use it properly and all that crazy stuff all right guys thank you very much for watching the video really really appreciate you spending the time on here and i'll see you all in the group thank you very much cheers bye bye